let us now take question number three it says if a squared plus b squared plus 4c squared equals to 2 times of a plus b minus 2c minus 3 then find the value of a squared plus b squared plus c squared and a b and c are real is also specified in the question there now if you try and compare question number 3 with question 2 that we have discussed you will find that there is a lot of similarity right we have an expression which has got uh, the terms a square b square c square on the left hand side then we have some equation in terms of a b and c minus 3 right the minus 3 here is important right that actually helps us in getting a proper form or proper simpler form of the given equation in the previous case right so hopefully this will help in this case as well then we'll have to find the value of a square plus b square plus c square now we know that going by a random solution here would be quite complicated we may end up wasting a lot of time so instead let us directly uh, simplify the given expression x equation and see what the values of a b and c are now i need not write each and every step here if you have got the right idea you would know that we have a squared minus 2a right take it to the other side a squared minus 2a plus 1 right this minus 3 will become minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 each for a b and c so a squared minus 2a plus 1 a squared minus 2a plus 1 can be taken as a minus 1 whole square a minus 1 whole square or we can directly say that a is equal to 1 since the equation has to be balanced to 0 right the right hand side will be 0 however a minus 1 whole square now look at the second part the term here b square minus 2b plus 1 b squared minus 2b plus 1 b minus 1 the whole square so plus b minus 1 whole square and now look at the third part here 4c square plus 4c right this is 2 into minus 2c which is minus 4c but when you take it to the other side it becomes plus 4c plus 1 all right so I'll, I'll just put it uh, separately here we have 4c squared plus 4c plus 1 equals to 0 or only look at this expression here forget about uh, the equation 4c squared plus 4c plus 1 now if this has to be expressed in the form of a plus b whole square what do we have 2c squared plus 2 into 2c into 1 plus 1 square right a squared plus 2a b plus b squared so this can be taken as 2c plus 1 the whole square and this detailed explanation may not be required for all of you if you can understand that we'll directly say this will be equal to 2c plus 1 whole square equals to 0 right this will be equal to 0 since all the terms on the right hand side have been moved to the left hand side there now if this expression or this equation has to be balanced to 0 what can we say a should be equal to 1 b also has to be 1 and what about c 2c plus 1 is 0 2c plus 1 is 0 implies c equals to minus 1 by 2 now we have got what is a b and c substitute in the given expression a squared plus b squared plus c squared a squared plus b squared plus c squared will be 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 by 2 squared so how much is this 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 by 4 2 plus 1 by 4 is 2 1 by 4 which is option d in our case so as you have observed in this particular case if we have solved a similar question in our practice it would become comparatively very easy for us to solve such typical questions so all you need to do in the topic of algebra is practice as many questions as you can understand every question is different right there is no uh, direct solution for every question here each and every question here the more you practice the easier it gets so keep practicing and make sure uh, that you solve variety of questions so that it becomes easy for you to get the right idea in the exam.